Today I'm going to be taking over the career of one of the best players in the world and Real Madrid's latest Galactico signing, Kylian Mbappe. Today I'm going to see if we can get a bit of a sneak peek of what we're about to see with him, of course, at Real Madrid. Obviously this is a player career mode. I'm going to be doing this on the hardest difficulty possible on the Ultimate. And this is going to be a bit of a test, guys. I just really want to play with Mbappe right now because obviously he has the most animations in the game. Obviously he has his running animation which is unique but he also has like so many unique celebrations. He also has so many unique like penalty kick animations. It's gonna be great guys and I just wanna see how it does in the Bernabeu as well. Obviously this is a career mode and uh, you know things can happen. As you can see though after bringing in Kylian Mbappe Real Madrid has also signed Trent Alexander-Arnold. Is this one gonna happen in real life? I have uh, no idea. I don't I don't think it will uh, because um, Trent, I think, is loyal to Liverpool. But, I mean, this Real Madrid team right now is absolutely unbelievable. We can take a look at some of the players. I mean, Vinny is his junior. We have... Um, Bellingham, we have Trent, we have Mbappe, I mean, it's the greatest passes in the world on one team, the greatest finishers, uh, the greatest everything, the greatest dribblers. This team is going to be unstoppable next year on the FC25 and uh, yeah, if you play against your friends, make sure that they do not pick Real Madrid, that would just be so unfair. So, we're going to be starting off the season right now, the first game against Athletic Club, which is going to be away and Real Madrid is going for a 4 Three, uh, one, two formation, it seems like. Uh, Mbappe as a striker. But yeah, I mean, let's just get right into it, guys, and see what is going to be happening here. And as I said, this is going to be a bit of an experiment episode. Um, the only way I'm going to continue this and make it as a long series is if we get 1,000 likes on this episode. If we get 1,000 likes, then this might be uploaded like two, three times every single week. But uh, if not, this is just going to be one single video. Get a match rating of at least 8.5. Have a dribble success rate of at least 35%. Let's see if we can complete the objectives because, yeah, there is actually so many objectives we have to complete this whole season if we want Real Madrid to offer us a new contract uh, for next season. Obviously, there might also be other clubs interested. City, you know, Liverpool. So uh, I'm, I'm basically going to be taking over the control here of, uh, of Mbappe's uh, future. So let's see. Let's get forward now. Jose Lu on the ball. Can he look over and find us? No, he cannot. Let's see what's going on. Is that a uh, handball or a free kick or something? No, it's offside. All right. So um, we're starting this one away. Look at all of our play styles, by the way, in the top right corner. That's incredible. And obviously, in this series, we're going to be able to unlock some uh, more play styles eventually as well. But yeah, with this being on the ultimate difficulty, it's going to be a bit of a challenge, but I'm pretty confident, guys, with, uh, with Mbappe that he is going to be getting a lot of goals. I, uh, I'm pretty sure. Come on, Trent. Defend that. Perfect. And now Mbappe's... No! What? As you can see, by the way, we have the number 10 shirt. That is the rumored kit number for him that he's going to be getting. And they cross it in, and wow, that is close to being 1-0 for Athletic. Not a great start to our season, to be fair. Let's win that one. Joselu, Bellingham, come on. I mean, look at this team. It shouldn't be legal. And now Mbappe with the pace. Kylian, Mbappe, and I should have just hit it myself. Look at the amount of pace we have there. It's crazy. Jude Bellingham over to Kylian Cruz. Let's run inside. We get it back. And Kylian in the top 90. That is insane. Uh, the game didn't want me to do a celebration. I was going to do the, the sliding celebration. But guys, that is one of our first touches. And Mbappe is, is unbelievable to control on this game. Wow. And, you know, we have the potential, if we do well, to get even higher ratings. Right now he's 91 rated. Imagine if we can get him up to like a 96. Like, it's going to be unstoppable. I mean, he already pretty much is. Obviously, something that Kylian Mbappe has never won is the Champions League. And now that he is at Real Madrid, you know, he's not going to have a better chance of winning it, I think. Here we are again. Mbappe on his left. And this time, it's a good save. I could have maybe pulled it back there. 
done a Ronaldo chop or something. And what I also like to do on these player career modes is that I like to sort of recreate how they play in real life. So you all know about the way that Mbappe likes to shoot, cut inside and then shoot it in the bottom corner. So we're going to be trying to, to pretty much play like Mbappe does uh, in real life, guys. That's what I'm hoping I can do anyway. So uh, what, what a sign that is. So Trent as well and Mbappe on the right side. That's, that's crazy. Come on. Mbappe into Jude. We get it back. Ah, oh, no. Jude cannot play it back again. But yeah, I mean, we have the Champions League. We have all the competitions this season. And now that Mbappe is here, can he finally win the Champions League? That is going to be interesting to see what happens with that. Here is Athletic with a good attack. And Courtois, huge save. But um, they have had a couple of chances to score, you know. There's the shot as well, and Courtois with another good save. So, defense isn't looking uh, too strong at the moment. Look at Kylian taking it down on his chest, and then we just, we just pace. Come on, another. Oh, that might be one too many. Yeah, one too many. But Trent Alexander-Arnold reads the play. Come on, Valverde. Over to Kylian, and... Find anyone with that one. And now Trent Alexander Arnold is so far forward that uh, the defense is opening up. And look at this, Williams! And how have they not scored? We are very lucky now to still be 1 0 up. They've had so many chances, but obviously they need to be more clinical against Real Madrid or they are going to punish you. All right, Kylian Mbappe. Let's give it back to Trent. Liking this link up already. Trent to Mbappe now again. Let's keep going here. Look for Jude and referee. That's he was hindering him. Like maybe not enough though. Kamavinga wins it back. Here we go. Oh, we cannot take it past him. Uh, but in every single time we are on the ball, you just know something special could happen. He's got that aura about him. Oh no. You cannot make these mistakes against Real Madrid. Here we go, Kylian Mbappe. And to the right side. Uh, I also saw the pass option, but I saw it way too late. So another corner kick. Let's see if we can make it 2-0. These away kits, by the way, are really beautiful. Valverde. And that's a poor touch. And, uh, we lose possession. So far, guys, we've uh, we've had like one chance for Real Madrid. We scored it, luckily. Are they gonna get their goal? Oh, Rudiger gets it out of there, and then come on! Oh, so close. It's gonna be a free kick for Athletic. All right, we are gonna be ready though if we can win back the ball. Cruz is pointing out where we should stand. Come on, Courtois you see me yes perfect that is exactly what I was hoping for and now we can if we can control the ball a little bit awkward there but oh yes the good pressure let's play it to Trent good pass no how is that off man that was perfectly timed I thought yeah Trent is a little bit in front of him that is going to be it for the first half, guys. And uh, so far, not the greatest of performances, but at least we're 1-0 up. So that is that is what matters, the result. It's just the first game of the season. Obviously, we are going to be a little bit rusty. But look at the boys. Jude Bellingham, Kieran Mbappe. That's actually insane. We have 7.5 rating. We still need one more. And a complete two passes in the opposition half. So, yeah, guys, we are on track right now to complete uh, these objectives. All right, Mbappe with the kickoff for the last 45 minutes. Let's see if we can add another goal in our debut. So let's see if we could fight for the uh, the goal scoring record in La Liga this season, which obviously is Messi's with 50 goals in one La Liga campaign. So let's see if we can challenge for that one. It'd be pretty special to break some records. Ooh, wow, fair play. 
risky though to do that against us when we have so much pace. By the way, why? Uh, where is Vinicius? This formation that Real Madrid is playing doesn't allow them to play with Vinicius, but here is Mbappe, cut inside and then over to the left. Yes, that is a typical Kylian Mbappe goal and we are off. Second goal of the season already and we are cooking. You love to see this. Come on, let's look at the replay. Cut over and then shoot in the other corner. This, uh, this, this technique from Mbappe is cash money. It's, it's guaranteed success. Ancelotti likes what he is seeing. We're 2-0 up here away to Athletic, even though the performance from Real Madrid hasn't really been that great. So we're on for a hat-trick, which is uh, special. That would be one way to start the season. And yeah, I'm just excited for when we get the penalty, if we're going to take it. We have the unique penalty animations. We have a thousand celebrations we can do. And it just uh, just feels really cool to use this uh, player, man. What a throw that is from Courtois. And good, uh, good tackle there. But uh, this setup is interesting. I just wish that instead of Joselu playing, it was Vinicius. So we would have Bellingham. You know, Mbappe and Vinicius up front. That is unstoppable. But we'll have to wait and see if they... Maybe the manager changes that up later. Oh, look at that ball from Arnold. Yes, come on, Mbappe. Get through here. Oh, look at the pace. This is unbelievable. And then through on goal. And just... Just in the end, it gets blocked. But uh, there you can see how quickly things goes with uh, Wicked and Mbappe through on goal. Unbelievable. Kamavinga, Valverde, and he shoots it. He managed to keep this one in play. Should be. Oh, I don't know if we should ask for a substitution because... I mean, our stamina is going down a lot. I think we'll stay on. It's the season opener, so why not? There we go, Trent Alexander-Arnold, and then... Play to Joselu, Bellingham, over to Mbappe, we cut inside, look at that, absolutely insane, and then the hat-trick has been confirmed, Kylian Mbappe, welcome to La Liga and Real Madrid, bro, that is absolutely unbelievable, and um, he, he makes it look simple, guys, he's doing this on ultimate difficulty, there's just no way of stopping him, really nice uh, fakes out there as well. And uh, now there's going to be a couple of substitutions, I think, for this hat-trick now. We've done our job. It's the first game, so let's get the sub. I hope Vinicius is going to come on, and he is. Yeah, I, I don't know if he's going to be starting Joselu in every single game, or if it's just, you know, against, like, you know, not the, not the hardest opponents. If there's, like, a Champions League game against Man City or something, I'm really hoping that we have, you know, Vinicius and Bappi up front. That was what I was uh, hoping for. So now we are gonna keep moving here, but obviously, let me just take a look at all of these uh, things. Personality. Do we have... Uh, no, we do not have any um, of the big ones unlocked. We actually have to wait quite a long time. Or no, we, we could change from Rapid, but I don't think I'm gonna really mess with the playstyles that, that he already has. But as you can see, at the tier 6, we're gonna be able to give him a playstyle that he doesn't have from before, so that's gonna be nice. If we go over to activities as well, we can... Um, we can uh, talk a little bit right here. Uh, for example, we could, um, you know, buy something. What could we buy? Electric car? Luxury watch? Let's go with that. Let's get the Maverick points up. I always like the playstyles you get with the with the Maverick ones. And these are going to help us as well. 1 plus in composure, 10% in training boosts. I absolutely love to buy things that, you know, benefit you on the football pitch. So... We will absolutely buy that. And uh, decisions, victory in the derby. Let's go with that one as well. Sponsored photo shoot. Yeah, there's going to be so many things with with Mbappe. You know, read a book about the club legend. Hopefully we can read one about Zidane. And, uh, the fellow countryman there. That is also something I haven't thought about yet, guys. Is that we, we obviously are going to be playing for France as well. So we have to try to do well in like the, the Euros, the World Cup. Maybe add another World Cup to Mbappe. And if this is if this one gets 1,000 likes and becomes like a you know long series, 
then um, you know we're obviously gonna do the main object is to to win the Ballon d'Or. No doubt about that. You know that is what Mbappe is missing. And of course the Champions League. So the next game is going to be against Almeira. And yet again he is starting with Joselu up front. I feel bad for Vinicius that we've kind of taken his, uh, his, his spot there. And not to, you know, having him play that many minutes. But I guess we will be seeing Vinicius more often. Hopefully later in the season. Alright, so uh, interesting stadium. This is going to be a good one. Should be able to add, you know, a couple more goals in this game, surely. I think this is an, should be a bit of an easier opponent than our last one. But uh, two away games to start the season, isn't it? It's a bit of a challenge. Look at that tackle! And Mbappe has gone down injured! This could be a disaster start to his time here in Madrid. What is going on here? He is really down holding his hand. I mean, that, that tackle was absolutely shocking what what i mean he stopped us he managed to stop us he managed to injure us and uh, make us actually get automatically subbed out that is crazy guys nah has that actually just happened did i just see that it, it's such a bad of an injury that we cannot even continue playing. That's when you know. I mean, that almost never happens in player career one as well. And Mbappe is not a injury prone player. So we win 2 0, but <sighs> injured in our second game. And it looked like a bad one as well. And Mbappe is not happy at all. So let's see. After a bit of scans, we're going to be back in 48 days. That's over one month injured. That's bad. That is really, really bad. Broken elbow. Seven weeks. In my second game for Real Madrid. I mean, that is going to make these objectives very difficult. Because, as you can see, they want me to score 25 goals inside the box. They want five hat-tricks. I mean, we've already had one. Uh, we want five chip goals. We cannot forget about that either. Because, obviously, if you do not complete these objectives, they are not going to offer you a new contract. You have to complete... All of those uh, from the recommendations so far. Wow. This is crazy. Barcelona and Liverpool in the recommendations from the agents. I don't think I'm going to have a path club for this one. Because we're already in our in our dream club. But you never know how the future can change, guys. That is unbelievable stuff, though, that we get, uh, that, we get that injury. So, yeah. I guess we're just going to have to um, simulate some uh, matches uh, until we're back. So... Now it is the 20th, uh, let's see, let's uh, go over to 23, yes, yeah, somewhere around here, we should be close to returning, so, let's see how it's gonna go against Celta, and uh, Real Madrid lose 3-0 to Celta Vigo, and the next game, they win against Getafe, but, and France have lost to Norway, what am I seeing, Real Madrid win against Sociedad, Draw against Union in the in the Champions League. Draw against Atletico Madrid. Win against uh, win against uh, who is that team again? Las Palmas. I don't know. I don't remember. But we're gonna be back in seven days, and some of those results were not that great. Return is close, and um, almost ready to return to action. The medical staff will make one final assessment. Looks like uh, Trent has had a suspension as well. All right, so we're gonna be back in a few days. Then let's have a training session. To see if we can build our way back into the into the team. I'm probably not going to be starting the first game back. We're probably going to get subbed in. So now against Girona. Obviously Vinicius is playing in, in our position. And we've lost it 2-1. I mean, this Real Madrid team is not as strong. Uh, you know, without, uh, without Mbappe in this uh, lineup. So now we're going to be having a Champions League game. I think I'm going to be missing out on this one as well, unfortunately. I'm not going to be ready to be back for it. But uh, let's see. Five days. Yeah. I'm going to be missing it. Just about. But uh, let's go ahead and simulate it. And, um, you know, we're getting our fitness uh, back a little bit. Which is nice. But hopefully Real Madrid can pick up some points. Because the first game we actually had a draw. And now we have a victory. Wow. That's a strong one. 3-2 away to Napoli. Good result. But I have missed out on so many games. Probably like 10 games already. Where I could, you know, have gotten so many goals um, to obviously try to get some records being broken. 
We have been selected for uh, friendly matches against Norway. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm gonna be playing against Norway. Uh, I cannot wait to see how Mbappe does uh, does against them. But here we go into another training session, and um, now our fitness is uh, getting better. As you can see, we're close to get back into the starting eleven. Now it's also gonna be a game at the Bernabeu. This is beautiful, and we've been subbed in in the 61st minutes, and now we're gonna be playing next to Vinicius Junior. Bellingham, Vinicius, and Mbappe up front. 30 minutes left. This could get ugly for the opponents. I'm, I'm predicting at least two goals there from Kylian Mbappe. Come on. Let's get subbed in now. And uh, let's see what we can do. Corner kick to our opponents. I'm actually not totally sure where we are sitting in the table at the moment. But I don't think we're first. Here we go. Here we go already. Come on, Vinga, with the long ball. Can we get to it? Yes, we can. And Papa. And uh, the defender does good. But uh, almost, almost an instant impact. Here we go. Where is Vinicius? Let's play it to him. Vinicius Jr. on the ball. Back to Kylian. We play back to Vinicius. A uh, little bit too many passes there. But it's nice to be playing in a burnout bay. I've never really played too much there in uh, in player career mode, so it's uh, it's a great stadium, absolutely huge. I've been there in real life, guys, and I was almost intimidated by how big it was. Come on! Oh, look at that! Kylian Mbappe, Kylian Mbappe, and that is in the bottom corner. I didn't even really see where that was ending up, but um, there we have one of the celebrations as well. Incredible. Beautiful scenes there at uh, the Bernabeu. Let's look at that finish because the defender got in the way. So it was a nice one in the corner. Yeah, no chance for the keeper. And we already have one goal since we have returned from this uh, injury. I think we also have this, uh, you can see in the top right corner, we have this gold playstyle. I think that's like the rapid one, which uh, gives you like, um, you know, insane acceleration, like really quick. So uh, that is obviously a boost for us. Come on, let's win the ball high and let's just run in behind. Now the other team needs to get a goal as well, so this could open up some space for us, you know. 20 minutes left of the game. Let's help out a little bit defensively, or try to at least. Come on. Win the ball. Oh, no. We're actually done. Beat the ball here. Come on, guys. Engage. There we go, finally. Mbappe. Pass one. Oh, no. Another tackle. Are we going to be okay? I mean, this is the problem. This team is so good right now. That every opponent is literally trying to injure me. That's the only way to stop Real Madrid. Are we going to be seeing similar things like that in real life? That's crazy. Let's play to Vinicius. Let's uh, run in behind. Oh, almost. Lovebird picks it up. Oh, we almost take it around the keeper. And that could have maybe been a penalty, but it's not enough. This Mbappe man, it's too dangerous. It's too good. It's making this look like uh, amateur difficulty. But here is Osasuna on the attack. Are they gonna uh, be able to give the give the world the shock today? Mbappe is just winning everything. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's too good. We have to play the pass. Valverde, Vinicius. We lose it, unfortunately. But Real Madrid playing very high here. So now Osasuna does have another chance. And ooh, inside a penalty box. But he spends way too long on the ball. No problem in the end. Let's see if we can get ourselves another big opportunity. Let's play to Vinicius. And then... We want it. Ah, that's not the kind of pass I wanted. I wanted a, a high one. 
come on, we have to win it there. They do end up getting a shot there, but not enough power to beat uh, Courtois. Yes, come on, Vinny. Bellingham, though, picks it up, and then the pass it to Vinicius Jr. He gives it back, and we try to take it through, but... Yeah, obviously, we are a little bit rusty after that injury. We're not... Uh, we haven't played in months. But okay, we do well there to win back the ball, and... Here we go. Can we find Vinicius? No, we can find Valverde. Vinicius! Oh, it's almost perfect. We're basically passing ourselves into the goal. They might get one more opportunity here. Ooh. Here we go, Alaba. Come on, Kylian. Come on, Kylian. Get through here. Look at the... Ah, oh, he's insane. He's actually unbelievable. I'm just gonna hit it. And... Oh, his pace, guys. And the crazy thing is, his pace isn't even maxed out. You know, when we have more training sessions done, that's gonna become like 99, and I'm just... I, I don't know what's gonna happen then. It's, it's gonna be... It's gonna be too quick. Crazy. Never used a player with this kind of speed before. Bellingham to Kylian, Vinicius, Modric. Oh, what a goal from Modric. Showing class is permanent with that one. I don't think I'm going to get awarded the assists because it hit the defender first. But a beautiful finish from Luka Modric. And that is the end of the game. And Mbappe and Modric with the goals. And they get the victory in front of the home supporters. And that is just a little bit of a taste of what's to come. Look at this, getting into it as well after the match. Nice to be back from that injury. And uh, even though we got a very bad tackle in this game as well, obviously we didn't pick up any anything bad. So I'm just hoping that we're not going to be seeing too many more of those, uh, those tackles really because uh, they're so dangerous. Let's go over to our career stats here with Real Madrid. Three appearances, three victories, four goals. Beautiful stats right there. 154 in market value, and it looks like we have already made a team of the week once as well, which is uh, really, really nice. So, um, yeah, let's look at our activities here. V work on an improvement plan with the coach. That should give us closer to the starting 11, right? Let's see if we can make the starting 11. And, no, we probably need about one more training session, and then we're going to be starting games again. So now we have France, international friendly. This is going to be against Norway, first of all. So that is uh, going to be a really cool one, you know, to play against uh, Norway. But it, it's just a friendly, so it's not going to be anything, uh, you know, too exciting. I'm probably just going to play one half or something because, you know, we um, we have just been injured and we don't want to risk anything in a, in a game that doesn't really count. But let's uh, add all of these drills and let's see if we can make any more progress on something. And uh, look at that already. Now we're starting to make our way to level 92. And you can see the dribbling is only 94. The uh, short pass 87. Sprint speed is 97. You know, we, we, we want to max out these stats. That is what we want to do. So let's go into this one. And France is playing a different formation. I have to say though, this France team isn't looking that strong. So uh, yeah, maybe they're resting a lot of players because it's just a friendly. I don't know, but... You know, we're going to be starting it. Only going to be playing like 50 minutes or something in this game though. The question is, is Erling Haaland going to play or uh, or not? I'm seeing Martin Ødegård, but uh, I don't think Haaland is uh, involved in this one here today. I mean, we should be able to do some damage against the Norway defense. Norway's defense is awful. Their only their attack is good. Okay, that Mbappe wins it back and boom, boom. Kylian Mbappé! Oh, he's crazy. The ball always just, you know, sticks to him. He, he doesn't lose it. Let's give it to Theo. Can he play it back? Kylian! Oh my god. Not a bad effort. Come on, keep going. I love this stadium as well. I think it's the stadium of uh, Marseille, I'm pretty sure. Alright, 
so I'm seeing Pia de Can. I know he isn't very good. Uh, Holan is not playing. I don't even think the, the main defenders are, are playing for Orbe, so this could be ugly for them. Unless they, they cook up something special. Oh no, Theo Hernandez, what are you doing? And Norway with an opportunity and they've actually won a corner kick. I cannot believe it. But Mbappe is staying up for this in case we end up receiving it. What? Norway take the lead. I would have never thought that. This is not even a player who used this start for the national team. Glesnes. What? I mean, one thing that Norway does have is the height. We are, we are pretty tall, so... You know, they are good in the air and set pieces usually, so fair play. They uh, they make it 1-0 away to France, that's huge. But uh, still a long time left to this game. Come on Theo, gotta do better, yes there we go. And now we'll play to number 20. And can we get it back? Yes, and then into Fakir. We'll take the corner kick. We obviously have the same number for France as we do in Real Madrid as well. So apparently that was not a corner. I thought that he hit a player, but maybe he he touched it right after. I cannot believe we haven't created more against Norway. This is embarrassing. Oh, I don't done them. He's playing as well. What? We're actually getting destroyed Saudawi on the ball Ouch, Ness is a good player there we go finally okay let's just oh uh, no we don't come away with it but this this uh, pressure from France is better we have to try to find some space oh my god this is insane just haven't been able to make it work against this Norwegian super team, even without turning Holland. Come on, Kunde. Anyone? Finally. That is the ball. Wow, this could be good. Mbappe. And then the signature. It's a little bit better. Come on, France. I mean, even though it's a friendly, we don't want to lose against the Nor Norwegian national team, you know. That's not a good sign for the France national uh, uh, <laughs> squad ahead of these big tournaments. And here they are again. And now Sarawi and Norway have destroyed France. This is crazy. What are the odds of this? The odds of this without Holland would probably be like five or something I cannot believe it if you bet on Norway for this game you will be rich nah I mean you cannot even string a pass together what is going on with these French players it's almost 3-0 <laughs> I would have never guessed that in the first episode the team that we're gonna be losing against here using Mbappe is Norway we haven't been able to really have a have a chance yet, even uh, at goal. Come on, at least let, let's score a goal here, man. Terrier, can you play it back, please? There we go. Mbappe. But he is currently in uh, Glesnes' pocket. I cannot believe this, guys. This is embarrassing. And we're almost approaching half-time as well. Are they going to be able to add... A third. Sarawi. Get it away. Come on. Yes. Surely now. Surely now. We're going to be quicker than these guys. Mbappe now. Through on goal. Up against the keeper. And okay. We have one back. And France is already making changes. I like that. Dembele. Get him on right away. He's going to cause some damage against this. Norwegian defense, that's for sure. But 
But now I kind of want to stay on for a little bit longer. I was only going to play like one half or maybe 50 minutes, but I at least want us to equalize before uh, I go off. One more minute. Come on, Kunde. Go for it. And can we get the ball or is it going to be half time? Yeah. A better ending though to the half than how it started. So hopefully more of that. But these Norwegian supporters who have uh, come all the way to France for this game is... Um, or it's not that far actually, but... Yeah, they're very happy with what they've been seeing so far. Come on. Do you think we can turn it around in this half? Has Norway's luck run out? Or has France just woken up? Oh my god! That's another two-footed tackle! I mean, I've, I've never seen tackles like this before in a player career mode. Like, I've been targeted. I thought, okay, maybe this was something that just happens with, uh, with Real Madrid, but... No, even for the national team, I'm getting two-footed. That was a Brexit tackle from Östegård. But, oh, that is good. That is really good, but um, gets blocked again. Come on, let's take this one short. Kylian, let's load up a powerful shot, and uh, we still have it though. Gwendouzi, Dembele, yes, Mbappe, Mbappe, and just like that, we have equalized against Norway. Come on. Two goals from Kylian as well, man. He's unstoppable. Is crazy. I think these goals as well do count to your official stats. I'm pretty sure they do. Because it's internationals. Doesn't matter if it's a friendly. Come on, again. Let's get the hat trick, the match ball. First one of the season. Oh my god. We absolutely smoked him. And we keep going. Let's go with the pass. And then Kunku should give us the assist right there, man. How has he missed it? Genius from Mbappe there, but good block from the Norwegian defense. Now they're making changes. Wow, how is that not another corner kick? But now it's it's all France right now, guys. The game has changed. We needed we just need a little bit of time to wake up, but I still think we we have a stronger team than this. You know, where is Kamavinga? Where is Chuameni? Where is Kunata? You know. Don't think they always play the strongest uh, players in the friendly matches, though. There we go. Let's give it to Dembele. And now, now we have the pace. Dembele keeps going. And then the pass to Kylian. And what a block. That was going top ins as well. And again. Another opportunity. Can take this one short. Yes, and bop the first time. Oof. That one kind of reminded me of the the World Cup goal against Argentina. Then Bale now. Bop again. Oh no! Why would he play it back there, man? I wasn't ready for that pass. Ooh, that is a risky ball from Norway. Come on, can we steal it? Almost. Yes. Yes, past two. He's unstoppable. Past three. Oh my god. Oh my god, what a run. Oh, one too many. But uh, guys, our stamina is going down fast. So the next time the ball is out of play, we're going to ask for a substitution. Maybe we can... Nah, <laughs> unfortunately we cannot keep it in play, but now let's get the subbed out in this friendly game. And we will see if we can get one more goal here. And no, it actually ends 2-2. Not a good result against Norway, but, um, you know, at the end of the day, it's a friendly match. So uh, I guess we are playing it to, um, to get some fitness and stuff. 
But now we are uh, still having one more international game. This is going to be against Morocco. This is going to be probably a little bit more interesting, I think. But uh, that is going to happen in the next episode if this one gets 1,000 likes. As I said, this is going to be a series. If not, then that was it. I really enjoyed playing with Mbappe. So I'll see you guys very soon and we will find out if uh, there's going to be any more episodes. But if not, make sure you guys go and watch the other player carry mode series I'm doing on this channel.